Halo semuanya, nama aku Putri. Di video kali ini aku masih main Genshin Impact. Ini masih di storynya Zhongli yang judulnya For Six Weeks. Ya udah langsung kita main aja ya. This place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here, piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater, both in number and in size. But due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyan Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich... Uh, I mean, rich with archaeological knowledge and historical value, yes? <laughs> That's all I seek in life. <laughs> well, since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay, then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me? What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him then. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. The ancient god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. Think you can get away? By royal decree! Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. 
See that object in the center. Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly attract the hydro monsters. I have a contract. I must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them and recover the relic. a stone slab, but its design is quite unique. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you! You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Oh, what a shame. These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! <laughs> at least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. Oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich. Nonsense. I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear. If I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down. Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? Why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the cheesing... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. 
See? You do want to sell these objects. But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Terai next. Sekian dari aku. Bye.